come back to the channel and this lab is updated again and here is the updated solution for this lab and i saw most of you guys facing the issue on the task number six so in this video i'm going to explain you if you face the error what you had to do and i will tell you the reason behind that so first of all what you had to do just simply log in with your first username and once you're done with this just simply come back over here click on the checkbox and then click on agree and continue now just simply wait and now just simply search for the vm instance over here like this open this thing new tab come back over here and just simply wait and then click on this SSH button. Now it will take a couple of seconds to establish your connection. So just wait for that. Now just simply click on authorize. Now what you do, just simply come back over here, click on the task number one, just simply scroll down. And from the point number six, you can see this command is updated. And here you can see zone is changes every time. So I request you please watch the video carefully. First of all, just simply copy this command. Let me increase the text size for you. Now just simply run the first command over here and just simply wait. Now I request you please watch the video carefully because this is the very important part of this lab. And once you're done with this, just simply come back over here and click on this check my progress. You will get a green tick without any issue. And I will recommend you please follow the way I'm doing this lab. Once you get a green tick over here, just simply scroll down. And from the point number 11, you can see we have to just simply change the current zone. So what you have to do, just simply copy the command like this way. As you can see after zone, I just simply copy this extra space. So just copy like this come back over here and just simply paste now here you can see for me the current zone is us west 1a so i'm going to just simply copy like this way and just simply paste now what we have to do we have to just simply change the zone so instead of changing all this thing we have to just simply change this last alphabet so we have the three options b c and d for me the zone is a so i have the three options like b c and d for you if it's us east 1c so then you have the option like a b and d so i recommend you please do not go with the a okay because if you choose zone a then you might face the issue on the task number six uh, because i noticed this thing whenever we choose a as updated zone we face the issue so i recommend you instead of choosing a as updated zone just simply go with the remaining zone so for me i have the three options b c and d so i'm going with b like this and then just simply hit enter now just simply wait and it's done now once you're done with this just simply scroll down and click on this check in progress you will get a score without any issue just simply wait and watch and as you can see we got a score now just simply scroll down to the task number two just simply scroll down copy this first command just simply paste hit enter now just simply type two hit enter now here is it's asking enter a configuration name so just type user two and hit enter now just again to type 2 and hit enter now it asking do you want to continue so just simply press y and hit enter now just simply copy this thing carefully open a new tab paste and just simply authorize yourself click on allow and then copy this token come back to your ssh and just simply paste and hit enter now i request you please watch the video carefully because i saw most of you guys facing the issue over here as well now here what you do we have to pick up the first project id how can you check your first project id from here you can see project id 1 and just simply check a last four digit so for me is 74f7 so just simply check on which position your first project id is mentioned so for me it's mentioned on the first number so i'm going to choose that for you if your project id mentioned on the second number then you have to just simply choose a second number so I'm going to choose one and hit enter. Just simply wait and it's done. Now if you just simply come back over here and click on this check my progress, you will get a score without any issue. And once you're done with this task, I recommend you please what here you do. Just simply come back over here. Just simply search for the IAM, open this thing new tab, come back over here. Now here you can see one principle like your project number then compute at the developers dot gservice dot com. Just simply copy this principle like this way and then click on this manage. And from here you have to choose your second project ID. How can you check? From here you can see project ID 2. So just simply check the last four digit. Okay. So 
for me this is my second project id just simply click on this check box just simply wait it's loading over here and then click on this add principle and just simply paste the principle which you just copy and then click on this blank space like this then click on this select role and from here just simply choose a basic and then owner like this once you're done with all this thing just simply click on this save now just simply wait and it's done now in the description box of this video i will share all these three commands so basically what you have to do just simply come back over here copy the second username copy that come back over here and just simply paste then copy your second project id this is your second project id just simply copy that come back over here and just simply paste like this now just simply copy all this command and make sure that you have to copy this full stop as well just simply copy like this come back to your ssg window just simply paste and hit enter now just simply wait for this command to get executed and once it's done you are done with this lab and it's finally done now if you just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress on all these tasks you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated so just simply wait for a couple of minutes like five to four minutes and you will get a green tick or score over here okay just simply wait and watch as you can see for this task i didn't get a score so no need to worry just simply click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue and as you can see i got 100 out of 100 now what happens sometimes if you just simply come back to the task number six and click on this check my progress you will not get a score so if you are not able to get a score over here that time what you do just simply come back over here scroll up and here you can see set the zone command just simply copy the command like this way okay just copy like this just simply scroll down and just simply paste now what you do you have to just simply copy your first zone this one just copy like this just simply scroll down and just simply paste like this way i hope you got my point this is for those who are not able to get a score on this task okay now just simply hit enter once done with this okay now just simply scroll up and from here just simply copy this command just simply come back to the notepad just simply paste the command over here like this way and just simply remove this content from this command like this okay now just simply copy this command just simply paste and hit enter And you will get this kind of output and once you get uh, this kind of output after that if you just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for this task you will get a green tick over here and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys